Hey guys, alright, you get me two times today. Two times! I just had to pop in here because I um, made some yummy dinner. Well, my husband cooked the pork, but um, I made some yummy dimmer, dinner. That's right, I cooked it. <laughs> so I just thought I'd jump in here and show you because it was super, I wouldn't say quick. I mean, it's barbecue, so you set it and forget it. Um, but there was a lot to it and it was pretty cheap. So, um, I just thought I'd pop in here and kind of show you. Um, so, he went to the store and found some country style pork chops, pork shoulders. Um, they are definitely a little more fatty. Pork so, pork shoulder ribs. Get it right, Jill. Yeah, that's right. So, um, they're definitely a little more fatty, which I don't really care for, but I ha cut a lot of the fat off, so there's a lot of waste. Um, but the fat also does, when you um, cook them, makes them a little more juicy. So um, the trick there is to, when you're barbecuing them, pull them off at like 140. So when you're marinating them, throw a thermometer in. You want to do this with all your meat when you're marinating. Can you see me? Um, throw it in um, and take it off before it's done cooking. Um, and then what you do is you set it in the oven and you let it um, finish cooking because it's still going to cook in its own juices um, for another like 10 minutes. And that's going to it's going to seal it up so it's going to be a lot more juicier um, and it's not going to dry it out. So a um, little tip for you. But anyways, so I literally have to cut a lot of that off. Um, but it's still pretty good and like I don't even know. That's That right there is like not even half of it because I we ate. I couldn't jump on here earlier because um, I was super hungry. We kind of ate a little late. Um, but I got three meals right here, um, and then still a whole bunch of leftovers that I'll probably just use for jar salads or maybe even make another side to throw it in. So I got, I got meals for like the whole weekend pretty much. Um, but another little tip, um, it's not always, um, the most healthy if you're trying to do 21 day fix, um, to the T. Um, but it's something, you know, this is a lifestyle change, so um, I try and make it as quick and easy and simple, um, but still healthy. So portion control is definitely um, on there. But one of the things I do, um, I still buy my rice aronis um, and my pastas at times, um, but what I do to kind of help with things is I buy... Um, a thing of brown rice. So I buy a whole box of brown rice. No. And I add it to this. So, you know, if you can make this go a lot longer, I sometimes don't have time to like mix, you know, and make it taste good with whatever um, flavorings they use. Um, so what I do is I just add to it. So you're get, you're still getting a little bit of the flavor, um, but you're getting a lot more to be able to have your leftover meals and your meals. Um, and then also what I did was I took um, chopped broccoli and I threw a whole bag of frozen, well, half a bag of frozen chopped broccoli in there. So I don't know if you can see it because it's like, I already pre-made this, but um, the frozen chopped broccoli has a lot more, um, it doesn't have as many stems. It has more of the tips to it, and it's already chopped up pretty fine. So once I once this cooks down, um, what does it say? Let simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. So after like 12 minutes, I will throw the frozen um, broccoli in there, and I will let it finish steaming, and then... Um, and then it'll be done, and it'll be yummy. So literally, you guys, it was eight dollars for all that pork, and you know what are these like a dollar? And then um, a whole bag of frozen broccoli is a dollar. So you're at ten dollars, and you get like one, two, three, four, five. The kids ate six, 
I would say six because I don't eat that much. Um, and then also I have a whole bunch left over. So literally it's like a dollar meal. It's a pretty good deal. Um, it's pretty healthy. And, you know, like I said, I got lunches for the next couple days or dinners, whatever I want to do with them. So anyways, I just wanted to pop in, say hi, um, and tell you something quick and easy that you can try. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. We'll talk to you later. Bye.